Parent Entrepreneur Power, conversation number 167. Parent Entrepreneur Power. Um, wait, what? <laughs> it's a <mama> power. <laughs> this is the podcast for parents juggling the tough choices required for success in business while putting family first. Hi, I'm Mary Catherine Johnson, and I share the ups and downs and dirty truths of profits and potty training while chatting with successful parent entrepreneurs from all walks of life. Are you powered up? Hello there, power parents. Guess who? You know who I am, right? Mary Catherine Johnson of Parent Entrepreneur Power. Well, I have something to share with you today that's um, a bit uh, exciting and uh, maybe controversial at the same time because you might be hearing about uh, this stuff all over the place. And I want to share with you uh, exactly what I'm doing to help you navigate this new world of Messenger. Facebook Messenger, because basically, just like the title to this podcast says, screw email, okay? How many people are on your Messenger list? And you'll know why I ask that question shortly. Because we've been held hostage by email marketing funnels for far too long. And I'm helping break us free from those. And let me tell you, having more fun and more profit doing it. All right, so let's just talk about this. I know you've been hearing about this. It's been talking, it's been talked about all over social media marketing world. Rick Mulready, digital marketer. Um, lots of people are talking about this new tool that you can use to actually get people subscribed to your list or in your world using Facebook Messenger. Messenger. Because, okay, let's break it down. Everyone tells us to send people to our lead magnet, right? and get them on their email list, on our email list. Everyone tells us, the money's in your list, the money's in your list. Yes, that's great. But no one is talking about email open and click-through rates being in the toilet. And that's across all industries. If you go to the post for this episode, you'll see screenshots of specific data and evidence to support that, specifically from MailChimp and Infusionsoft. Across all industries, nobody on average gets more than 30% of the people on their list to open their emails. So the only people making real life-changing money from their email lists are the people with massive lists. So let's take it, let's break it down. Even those people have 70% of their list not opening their messages. And of the 30% who actually do open their messages, 90% don't click through to their offers. But that doesn't matter because if they have a list of 500,000 people, (laughs) yeah, let's look at it. All right, so 500,000 people on your list, 30% open, and that's being generous. Most are in their 20s. So of of those 500,000 people, if 30% of them open, that's 150,000 people, okay? That's a lot of people. And if 10% of those people click through to their offers, or whatever they're asking them to click through, that's only 15,000 people. So we've gone from 500,000 people on their list to 15,000 that actually click through and see their offer and actually engage. Because we consider a click through an engagement, right? They're actually saying, show me more. So they're engaging with what you have to say. So now let's take their conversion rate. So there's three rates we talk about. Open rate, click-through rate, and conversion rate. So now let's take their conversion rate on those 15,000 people. Let's say out of those 15,000 people, only 30% of them buy whatever that person is selling. And let's say that person is selling something that costs $997. Okay. Pretty, pretty standard, you know, a little bit um, mid-range to higher ticket um, online course. Okay. $997. 30% of those people buy calculate 15,000 people times 997 and you've got $4,486,500. So they don't give a damn about low email open rates, right? (laughs) They just made 4 million bucks with only 15,000 people, which is only 10% of the people on their list clicking through. But see, you and I do 
care about low email open rates because let's apply that to our numbers and our list. Okay, so bear with me here. I know I'm going through a lot of numbers, but you know this makes sense because you're living it every day just like I am. Okay, so let's just take someone who's lucky enough to have 3,000 people on their email list. Now, right, we're talking 3,000 people that have signed up to learn what you have to say, to hear what you have to say. So you're, you're a pretty lucky person, right? If, you're, if you've got 3,000 people on your list, standard small business starting, maybe that took you even a year to two years to, to get, right? So 3,000 people, 30% open your emails, that's 900 people. 10% of those people click through, that's 90 people. So you've got 90 people out of those 3,000 actually engaging with what you have to say. Now, let's apply the same conversion rate and the same price point. 30% of those people buy at $997. So 30% of those 90 people buy at $997. You get $26,919. Now, if that was a launch, and that's a, you know, that's a five-figure launch, right? That's not a bad launch. That's pretty good. But either you need to find another 3,000 people to make your next offer so you don't burn your list by selling them the same thing over and over again, or you need to develop another product or program to sell to those same 3,000 people, right? Because you you can't live or grow a business on $26,000 and that's it, right? I'm, I'm speaking the truth here, right? You you follow me? The, three, the person who has 500,000 people on their list yeah, they're making a decent amount of money. A huge that's a that's pretty good money out of 500,000 people. They're the ones saying the money's in the list because it is. And here again, yes, the money is in the list for us too if we have 3,000 people on our list and we just made 26 grand. That's not bad. But that's not a sustainable business. You have to now go through your funnel and figure out what else to sell those people or upsell them to something else or offer them another program or find another 3,000 people. So I have to tell you, I'm one of the lucky ones who are on Andrew Warner's list. Okay, so you know who Andrew Warner is, right? He's the genius behind Mixergy. And I say genius, he's a, he's a sweet guy, he's, he's amazing. So he developed a course to learn how to do this whole messenger marketing stuff. And this was back in January, February of this year, so a couple months ago. And I was on his list and saw what he was talking about and jumped. So for the last couple of months, I have had my head down and learning and developing and testing and getting clients to let me develop messenger funnels for them. Because be clear, you've been hearing about it everywhere, right? But messenger is not just you get people on your list and then what do you do with them? So you can, you've probably heard, you can run a Facebook ad and that Facebook ad can take you directly into messenger. It can take your prospects directly into messenger and you can engage with them there. But what do you do with them? So it's no different from your email list in the sense that once someone clicks that button, from your ad and goes directly into Messenger, they are giving you permission to communicate with them in Messenger. Just like when someone lands on your landing page and clicks the button to open up your lead box and gives you their email address and their name, they're giving you permission to communicate with them through email. So those two things are identical in the sense that someone enters your world by giving you permission to communicate with them. It just depends on the medium. They're telling you, yes, I'd like to hear from you here. Now, what you do with those people and how you interact with those people are so very different in each of those platforms. So it's wonderful to do an ad or you can actually, people, it is, Power Parents, you, you, you don't even know. It is, I'm so excited about this. I'm so, it's, it's just amazing what you can do. So let's say you have a, a Facebook ad and someone clicks on the button that says learn more and they open up messenger immediately. So you start a conversation with them, with them there and it's an automated conversation, just like an email and, but it's very engaging. So they, it's short messages. They respond, they click a button or they, uh, give a, a response. They actually engage with what you say and you take them through that funnel. Now, 
doing that, you can also, there are so many ways you can use Messenger to get them in your world. You can do an ad. You can actually create a post on your business page. And all they have to do, you tell them, comment in this post. Just comment the word yes, or comment the words I'm in, or comment the words I need this. Anything you decide, all they have to do is comment on the post and it does the same thing as the ad. It opens up your messenger and starts them in your automated funnel. It's just amazing what you can do with this tool. So I've been absorbed and totally consumed (laughs) with this world for the last couple of months, and I've learned the ins and outs of what you should and should not do, uh, because people can mark you as spam, and you can get your Facebook page uh, banned or shut down if you don't do this properly. So I, unfortunately, with the uh, the gold rush happening and everybody running to do these things, I have a feeling we're going to have a, a major um, shift and a major panic because if people don't do this right, uh, they'll be marked as spammers and their 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 reputation and their Facebook page can can really be hurt as a result. So I have to tell you, I'm very thankful to Andrew for introducing me to this and having me in his world. And uh, he's been interacting with, uh, with our group and it's, it's just been eye-opening and amazing and the results I'm getting. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to those numbers we started with, okay? Let's just calculate this for a second, will we? All right, so let's take that same person who has 500,000 people on their email list. Now, if they're a huge person, and you, I'm not going to name any names, you know who I'm talking about, the big um, gurus of the online world, all the, the, uh, the people in the know, the uh, experts in the fields of online marketing or in their particular fields. Let's say they have 500,000 people on their list. Well, Messenger, the statistics of open and click-through rates are staggering, as you've heard, they are true. My clients are getting these percentages. Now, once you get to the conversion rate, that still depends on you because you sell what you have to say and what you have to offer. Messenger can't tell that. Messenger can't affect that except to the extent that your prospects engage and get to know, like, and trust you more in Messenger than they do in email. So let's take the percentages, shall we? Out of those 500,000 people, we are getting in Messenger... 80 to 90% open rates. And that equates to 400,000 people opening their messages. So compare it to my original statistics. That was only 150,000 people at 30%. If you just take 80% of those 500,000 people, that's 400,000 people that open their messages. Now we take click-through rate. And the click-through rate is anywhere from 60 to 80% of the people that open your messages in Messenger actually engage. So they, they interact. They are active. Here's the difference. It is an active funnel. It is not a, I'm going to give you an email and I'm going to tell you this long story and then hopefully you'll click a button and you'll go to another long story. <laughs> this is interaction that you actually engage your prospects. So The percentages, 60 to 80% are actually clicking through to what you have to say. So that would equate on that 500,000 people email list and the 80% open, that would equate to 240,000 people opening and clicking through to whatever that person has to say. 240,000 people. Now let's take their standard conversion rate, which we don't have any control over in Messenger, right? That's them selling. So if 30% of those 240,000 buy at $9.97 each, (laughs) you want to know how much they'd make? That's $71 million. So it From there, it's a numbers game because people are engaging with what they have to say. 71 million as opposed to 4 million. Okay. So yeah, they're not, they weren't really concerned with their email lists either, but I bet you they wouldn't give back $70 million. I bet they'd take it if they could get it. So now let's apply again to our lists. If you're one of the lucky ones that has 3000 people on your list, let's look at the 80% open, 60% click through and a 30% conversion rate, shall we? Okay. Out of 3,000 people on your list, if 80% of them open your messages, that's 2,400 people. 
If 60% of those people actually click and engage with what you have to say, that's 1,440 people, 1,440 people. Now your conversion rate is 30%. That's 432 people out of those 3,000 that are buying your product at $997. And now you have $430,704. You can build a pretty good business on that. You can expand, you can hire, you can develop new products, you can deliver incredible value to those 432 people so that they then go touch others and tell them how amazing you are and how amazing your product is. Do you see the difference? It's numbers now. But because email has such low open and engagement rates because it's not interactive. Now we look at human psychology, right? It makes sense. This thing pops up on your phone and it basically says, Mary has sent you a photo. And you're like, oh, Mary sent me a photo. Or, you know, one of the online gurus, whoever sent you a photo, you're going to open it. Unless it's someone you have no idea who they are, okay? But they are in your world, so they know who you are because you've been communicating with them. They, she sent you a photo. Oh, let me see what it is. And it's a picture of whatever I want to send them relating to whatever I want to teach them that day. So everything you do in email in terms of educating and leading people through your process to get them to understand your value to them, you do in Messenger, but the difference is they engage with what you have to say. They don't just consume it. I can't tell you how many of my clients who come to me and want to build their businesses and they start with, you know, I'm listening to every podcast and I'm reading every blog. That's the first thing I tell them. Stop consuming. If you want to build anything, you have to be very picky and very choosy about what you're consuming because the time you spend consuming is taken away from the time you spend producing. And nobody makes money consuming. They make money producing. So people are engaging and they don't just consume like they do an email. They actually engage and interact. It is so personal. And Messenger, you can do broadcasts just like you do an email. You can tag people. You think Infusionsoft is a beast? (laughs) Wait till you get into a Messenger funnel. You can tag people based on which of the buttons they touched and clicked. You can tag them based on how they interact with what you have to say. It is incredible. Power parents, it is incredible. And I have been having such a blast learning it and actually implementing these funnels for clients. If you're interested in finding out what it looks like, you can go to my messenger funnel and gee, what's the name of that company? Hmm. Messenger funnels. Of course it is messenger funnels and it is so much fun. So if you go to messengerfunnels.com, I mentioned this in my conversation with Mary Lou Kayser a couple of episodes back. I think it was episode 164, possibly. Um, I, messaged, I, I mentioned this and, uh, and I've been having a flood of people contacting me just from that message, uh, you know, just from mentioning it. But check it out. You can go through the funnel exactly how it is. You can give people PDFs. You can send people to informational videos. You can give people audio messages. You can, it's, it's staggering. It really is incredible fun. I am having a blast communicating with people and they're having, they're actually engaging and communicating back. So check it out, messengerfunnels.com. And if you do, there's a free PDF, obviously, that takes you through exactly how this process works. So basically I'm taking you through my messenger funnel formula, which basically shows you the process that you can take people through and that you can and how to do it, how to implement that process using messenger. Because as I said, it's very different and you don't want to get your account shut down. Please don't just jump in and start doing this thinking about email. That's not the way this works. People will not be happy with you. If they get pinged on their phone at two in the morning and their phone is right next to their bed and it's your message and you just now got got them on your list, they won't be very happy. If you ping them in the middle of a meeting and it's a it's not that important of a message, but you let you make it have a sound on their phone and they're in the middle of a meeting, they're not going to like you very much. <laughs> um, there are the same they're, they're the same um, processes are, you know, best practices are 
required in messenger funnels as they are in email funnels. And those are very specific to messenger because people are used to communicating with friends via messenger. They're not always used to communicating with businesses via messenger. So we have to be very respectful of that and watch how we do this. So have I got your attention? Have I, have I piqued your interest in going beyond just the standard that you've heard so far with Facebook ads going straight to messenger? Have I got your interest to do best practices with messenger and learn the ins and outs and do it the right way so that people don't, don't ban you or say you're spamming them. If I have, I hope you join me. I hope you go to messengerfunnels.com and see how this works. And if it's something, if you, let's say, want to do this for your own business, let's say you're, you know, a, a person who's maybe making five figures a year and you can't necessarily hire someone to do this for you. Like say you, 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 you're not hiring someone to do your email marketing yet or your social media marketing yet. You're doing all of that yourself with Buffer or MailChimp or something like that. If you want to use this for yourself, but you can't necessarily hire a team to do this for you, then I am also offering a course. I have, (laughs) it is so fun. I've offered a course to help people learn how to do this. And you can find out about that uh, at Messenger Funnels as well. All of the links to everything I'm talking about, you know where to find them, right? ParentEntrepreneurSuccess.com forward slash PEP 167. So instead of trying to remember, just go to that page and everything will be on there. Every, all of the information I shared with you, the numbers, I'm sharing with you specific screen shares, exact data of what percentages my clients are getting right now on their messenger funnels. I, I'm, this isn't just me talking. Of course, it's me talking. You're listening to me, but it's not just my word. Don't just take my word for it. Go to the page and see the actual results for yourself. You will be blown away. I'm telling you, I, my mind was completely blown. I was standing, I was sitting here looking at my computer with my mouth wide open, trying to absorb what I was seeing. And uh, I've absorbed it and I've embraced it. And I so hope the same for you. I wish the same for you because this is like the wild rest right now. Power parents, it's really, it's, it's shooting from the hip because so many people are jumping into this. And unfortunately, the people who aren't using best practices are going to show us exactly what happens when they don't use best practices in Messenger. And the people who do use best practices and learn exactly how to do this effectively and communicate effectively um, and kindly with their prospects are going to be the cream that rise to the top. Please be one of those people please join me in being one of those people. We want to be the cream that rises to the top. We don't want to be down with everyone in the middle that, uh, that just spams their, their audience. We want to respect and engage people. They will know because they're going to know which of these are the spammy ones and they are going to know which ones are the respectful ones. I hope, I so hope you come on this journey with me and be the cream. Let's rise to the top of this because I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It is so amazing when people actually engage with you and not just read. They're not just numbers that look at your emails and which ones look and which ones don't. They're people now. They actually even more so become individuals because you see them. You see their picture. You see all the information. You see where they work. You see where they live, what time zone they're in. This is all possible in Messenger. It's, it's incredible. And it's so, it, it's just so heartening to see this, to, to participate in people's lives in this way. Um, and I, I so hope you join me on this journey. So I'll stop. You can tell I'm quite excited about it. <laughs> I want to bring every single person listening to my voice from that $26,000 um, conversion rate at 30% people buying up to the 430000 conversion rate with 400 people buying out of that 30%. I hope you join me. All right. In the meantime, (laughs) you want to talk about enjoying the journey, man. This is making it so, so sweet. Enjoy the journey, my friends. 
To get powered up for your day, just go to parententrepreneurpower.com and listen to any one of the over 100 episodes we've had so far with amazing entrepreneurs just like you. It might just help you feel like a grown-up again. 